Crying emojis in the chat, boots. Crying emojis in the chat. Oh my lord, our boy Phil. I told you guys, he is in cope mode. He is trying to uh, deflect that he screwed up. Everybody knows he screwed up. He's going to be downstairs with Cat crying. He's going to be crying on the couch with Cat. Oh my lord, we all know what happened. And apparently now he's talking directly to the detractors. And, uh, you know, he, he seems pretty upset. He, he, may, he may drop uh, uh, some few bad words, but we'll see. Let's, let's clip him right here. Let's play what he has to say. He's finishing comments about his positive. <laughs> oh my lord. Let's watch it. The entirety of the day. And you tell me how people could legitimately look at the content I put out and say that it's oh you know there's no fun there there's no there's no value in that you know but then they're gonna say the toxic shit that they put out is good right we had a chill time today name one person who got hurt today one person who was insulted uh oic slash jinx you doxed him i'm pretty sure he's get, he's gonna be hurt by that one person who walked away feeling like crap and it was the opposite it was a fun day it was a silly day uh, OIC Jinx. Day. It was a positive day. There was gameplay. There was rage. There was food. There was rankings of video games where people had input. There was, you know, just chilling, fun conversation. There was silly battle royale antics. There was me in a ridiculous outfit looking like a fool and laughing at myself and you guys laughing at me. We all laughed together and that's the difference. Laughing together. Right? Laughing together. That's good fun. That's fun that's not toxic. That's fun that's that's appreciated by my viewing audience that I had a good time too. My wife got to contribute in a positive way, right? That's the kind of stuff that I... Ah, uh, yes. Throw out your wife for sympathy like you always do. Just like you did on the interview where you started talking about her, uh, her, her legal issues. I'm all about. Today is a, one of those great days that I live for. You say, well, Phil, what are some of the memorable moments that you've had over the years? The, street, the DSP's Fight and Feast Marathon, the Summer of Retro, right? The the Lost Judgment and Regular Judgment playthroughs of the summertime. You know, my Persona 4 playthrough. These epic times when we were having fun interact. When he was the partner from Twitch. Great vibes, chill fun, you know, Skyrim, the Skyrim playthrough from last year. That's what I mean, like, those are some of the best things. So I, I agree there, Black Ops 4 Blackout. It was Battle Royale, but we were having fun, meaningful conversation when I was doing it. How are you going to tell me that that content is all just like a joke? Or all just, you know what I mean? Oh, nothing you've ever done has any meaning. Bill, look at you. Look at you. You're, you're wearing this outfit. You're blowing bubbles. You're begging for money. No, it's not meaningful. You're playing video games for a handful of dents, Phil. That, that's not meaningful. It's not. Then why do people come back? Right? Why do people come back? Why do people come support it? If there's one person supported Phil, one dent, and I've always said it over and over again, your business is propped up by a handful of dents, and today clearly show that. It clearly show that one person is supporting your channel, and he's been supporting your channel for the last week and a half, Phil. There's no meaning here. Maybe if, if people would take five minutes to stop being dicks to each other and just look at things for what it is right i dare someone else i love the fact that this man spent how many years being the dick to people and now when he you know the tables are turned he's whining and crying and having this cope fest phil you screwed up you dock someone own up to it say i'm sorry i screwed up my apologies and just move on but you won't do that what you do is you'll come on and lie that's what you're going to say tomorrow you're going to lie you're going to say i didn't dox anyone i read someone else's email oh you guys are making this up you screwed up phil apologize say i'll do better and give oic slash jinx an apology to do a marathon like this one of my critics one of my biggest people who hate on me to do the the you know the 10 hour plus marathon i just did with limited to no breaks doing the kind of content i just did right without being toxic without having to hurt without having to watch someone else's content to put out content just do it yourself have a fun positive day for your viewers i challenge you to do it because i think you'll say something if you do that and you're successful you're not going to want to go back to the toxic crap you do 
You know what's funny, Phil? I take your content and transform it, as I, 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 I have a right to do, and I get triple the views you do, Phil. So who's the one that should learn and should take advice and should take crit criticism and do things differently, Phil? I don't think so. I think that if these guys would actually just step out of their comfort zone of easy mode bullshit and making fun of others, and instead making meaningful content for their audience, they actually wouldn't want to go back to the easy mode crap. Because Pointing out the terrible person you are, Phil, is meaningful to, for, for me. It's very meaningful. They'd realize what crap it actually is. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that, I don't think that it's they couldn't do it. It's that they don't want to. They're so they're they're in this this endless cycle of this is how I make the same kind of crap, but people eat it up. It's easy to do and it's profitable, and that's sad. It really is sad. You know. You know you know what they'll do. They're gonna take content from today and they're gonna cut it up and they're gonna try to take me raging at Street Fighter. Me taking shots. Oh, it's horrible. Look at this horrible person. Did you? Yep, did that. Yep, did it and still doing it. Actually see the show? Of course you didn't. You know? I streamed you uh, for 10 hours, Phil. I saw every single minute and that's why I was able to clip you. And that's how I found out that you dock someone. Everyone here had a good time, including me. We all had a really, really, really great time together. Chilling, relaxing, fun, positive content, making fun of no one having a great time with each other maybe if you didn't get slosh and beg people for a hundred dollars to drink and you know had your faculties in order maybe you wouldn't have slipped up and docked someone phil maybe 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 you should take your own advice and do better and uh that's the kind of vibes that i like on my, every single day here on the channel that's what i'm gonna look at him going on the x y and axis try to do tomorrow you know what i'm saying that's what I try to do every day when I come here. Why does Phil want to continue to be the content creator he is? Because I love what I do. Oh, Phil hates his audience, and he just does this to make money from them. What the hell are you talking about? Today was incredible. Facts. All you got to do is look at your last God knows how many years and how you treat your dents. Really fun. Did you get that? Today was a really fun event. And it's not just about this. It's not about this. That's all it's about, Phil, because if you would have made $150, this would have been uh, a, what can I do better? What do you guys want? Why didn't you support it? That's what this segment would be versus you coping about uh, the detractors clipping that you dock someone. It's, it's not about this. No, it's about that we actually sat down and had fun together. That's what it was about. It wouldn't have mattered if any of that happened. I still would have had a great time today. But that's what they're all about. This is this is all they can see down there. What kind of person can't see past this? Right? I don't understand, Phil. You don't want to just do stuff for the money? No, I don't. You're right, I don't. I want to do stuff that's meaningful to me and my audience. I don't want to just do stuff for the money. If I wanted to do stuff for the money, I would have been a completely different person over a decade ago. I would have been selling out left and right when I was a big YouTuber, and I never did that. I had those opportunities, and I never did, you know? But these people don't get that. That gets me. You say, oh, he hates his audience and he doesn't want to, you know, he doesn't like what he does. You couldn't be further off and that just proves that you don't watch any of my content. You hate them to the point where you lie to them, Phil. When they, when the, when the point about tips and PayPal and you getting people's information comes up, you lie about it. And today just clearly showed that you get people's information when they tip you. If they tip you via PayPal, you get their first name, their last name, their email, and possibly more information, Phil, but yet you lie about it. It just proves that you watch the negative people who rebroadcast my content in a very limited way to showcase negative. You go to my Locale TV channel, it's the whole podcast or the whole podcast, the event, no edits whatsoever. Parts are things out of context and you have no interest in seeing the truth because all you had to do is be here today and you would have seen the fun we had and why I love doing what I do. Okay. Oh, looks like a tip came in. Oh, uh, for Big Papa Pump, this show was awesome. Thank you for a great day, Phil. Keep up your positivity. Don't listen to anyone else. You're right. I'm not listening to anyone else who's going to say negative shit. I had a great day today. I'm not letting anyone ruin my shit. I'm not. It was a great day. And then, you know, tomorrow we come back. We still got two streaming days this week of fun gameplay coming up. You know, yes, today was a departure. 
Today was definitely outside of the realm of what I usually do on my streams, and that's fine because it was a special event. Tomorrow we get back to regular gameplay. We get great progress in all the games I'm playing, and that's the awesomeness of all of this. I don't have to wait for it to be a miserable, miserable day for someone else for it to be a good day for me. I can just have a good day on any given day. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, Phil, it's so cool that you spent the last 10 minutes ranting and raving about the tractors because you're upset that you got caught doxing someone. And you got caught lying about PayPal. Okay. So, final chance, anyone, if we want some Q&A here or a shout out or whatever it might be. Last chance, if you want to ask a question, let's, let's, uh, let's end on a high note tonight. Code Man did a super chat saying you should think about interviewing people. At this point, I'm not doing anything. No one wants to associate with me because of all the toxicity outside. If it was just about this content here, everyone would be interested. Wow. You know, we had a positive stream with Phil's viewers have a nice interview. They would love that. The problem is all the toxicity that comes from the outside attention. They don't want to be associated with that. I don't blame them. I don't want to be associated with that. That's why I'm ignoring it all. You understand? Maybe there will be a time when it makes sense to come back and do that kind of stuff. I would love to interview certain people. I would love to have a show like that. I can't do that right now because people have taken that opportunity away from me for their own personal gain. You see? Oh, code. Uh, Phil, you took that opportunity away from yourself. You had an opportunity to go on the Side Scrollers podcast and talk about anything you wanted to. You could address anything. And what did you decide to do? You decide to lie to them. And to the point that you infuri infuriated them so much that they want nothing to do with you. They essentially said, we're done with you. And then when you started attacking them, like you always do, they clap back. And now your butt hurt and they have Keemstar and other people on their side. So now you're pulling back saying, I don't want to be associated with drama, blah, blah. Even though you were the one that created it, Phil. Man, excuse me, not Codemaster. Codeman, one, two, three, four, three, four. Um... So let's wait for the right time and, and strike it when the iron's hot. Right now the iron is very cold, okay? Thank you, Returnal. It was an awesome stream. I already told Kat, thanks for all the food. She was watching. Uh, let's see here. Tomorrow is, uh, what is tomorrow? It's, uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor and Oblivion on the late stream. Do more events like this? I liked it. But the thing is, what do you want to see? This, this event made sense today because why? Perfect sense to do this event. Yeah, when I post up tonight, the thread over on DSP Fighter Runs... Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Okay, that's it, folks. That's it for the cope. It only lasted about 12 minutes. Oh, my Lord. Phil is losing his shit. Uh, I'm pretty sure the daily rap will be about the whole OIC and the tractors and all that stuff. So I'll definitely watch it and uh, make comments. And then tomorrow's podcast should be excellent. But, of course, he'll try to just sweep it under the rug uh, and claim that it was a mistake, even if he addresses it whatsoever. But... Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Very positive, chill stream. Our boy Phil here losing his mind because he had one too many drinks and decided to talk someone. So big ups. Big ups, everybody. Peace out.